What's happening guys? I'm your host MD for mdsrobotronics.in and today I'm presenting you a video, another video of my Xperia Neo V. So this time there is, this is not about the unboxing or the review but uh, this is about a new ROM that I just flashed onto my phone. So the one that I have right now is the MIUI ROM, the MIUI ROM from uh, MIUI and uh, this ROM is based on uh, uh, ICS ROM for uh, Xperia Neo V. So this ROM has been ported for uh, the Neo, the Sony Ericsson uh, Xperia Neo V, and uh, I have flashed it with a couple of changes, with a couple of steps that I had to do uh, before I could uh, actually get the ROM working on this phone. So for all those guys who want to do, who want to flash your uh, phone with a custom ROM, you need to do two basic steps. First step is to root your phone and the second step is to unlock the bootloader. So you can still unlock the, you can still flash custom ROMs to your phone without unlocking the bootloader but I have seen a lot of limitations on that. So if you want a full fledged uh, root, a full fledged uh, working ROM then you need to have uh, your phone rooted and then also uh, get the bootloader unlocked. So I will not share. I will not share how uh, these steps are done. Probably I'll uh, share the links to links which describes how to do these steps. But I will leave that uh, for another video or for uh, just the links. And I would just uh, show you about the MIUI ROM that I've just flashed into my phone. So quickly booting. What you would notice is uh, the normal Sony logo, following which you would see a custom MIUI uh, boot animation. And following that, you would see uh, the MIUI ROM. So, to talk about this ROM, it, it's been pretty famous with the launch of uh, M1 phone, the Xiaomi, Xiaomi Mi M1, and uh, uh, the latest two more phones from Xiaomi, that is uh, M1s and uh, M2, Mi2. I guess that's Mi2. So this is a Xiaomi. Uh, uh, M1 uh, boot logo so I think this logo has been ported from uh, the MI phone to uh, the MIUI ROM and uh, the ROM has quite a lot of features and quite a lot of customization with respect to the UI but maybe the functionality just remains same but you would see a lot of customization so the first thing that you would notice is the unlock screen and uh, let me just show you show you about the feature of this unlock zone when you look closely you would just see a uh, option to slide down the button but when you press and hold actually there's a ring which appears which will show you uh, four other options that you can do so you can unlock your phone by pulling towards uh, the bottom unlock key or you can directly go to your sms or you can directly go to camera app or you can directly go to your uh, phone dialer app so let me just unlock that and show you how uh, it's done and yeah, this is uh, the MIUI ROM. So initially, once you first flash the phone, maybe this is not how the widgets appear on your screen. Maybe they are a bit uh, misplaced. Uh, widgets are uh, different. I've just made some uh, customizations. So I just uh, moved uh, to uh, loc different locations so that it, it appears uh, good on my phone. So basically, what you need to do is you need to flash the ROM and also flash another package which is called G Apps. And G Apps will uh, install the Google account uh, functionality and the other basic Google uh, Google apps. Okay, so the first thing that you would notice, apart from uh, the different things, let me just go step by step and tell you what all are different features that you would uh, notice on your phone. So first thing when you look at the bottom uh, icons you wouldn't see a uh, app drawer so there is no app drawer in this UI you just have uh, this uh, screens multiple screens which keeps growing as in uh, as in when you install new applications so there's a new icon which keeps uh, keep which keeps appearing at the end of the list and uh, that is how uh, your uh, uh, applications are placed so there is no app drawer your uh, home screen your home screens are your uh, app drawers and uh, let me just draw the notification bar and yeah it looks uh, this is a default MIUI notification so you have two options here which says notifications and toggles so when you click on the other one you would see all the quick launch uh, options so you can uh, these are uh, different options for uh, quick settings so you can just uh, turn your phone to airplane mode and and so on and uh, you also have when you click on more you would also be provided with a lot of other uh, quick settings and uh, 
yeah and you also have let me just show you that you also have another settings button here which will quickly take you to uh, the complete settings menu okay and uh, here again the settings menu is a bit customized which you, where you can see uh, common settings on you could on also you can see complete settings complete settings will take you to the default uh, display with a bit of customization with respect to the ui but the options uh, still remain the same uh, except for a few of them and those few of them are uh, you see uh, LED uh, option so this is to control the notification uh, LED on the uh, right side of your phone so uh, people have been a bit confused about whether uh, MIUI ROM uh, st supports this LED or not but uh, uh, just an FYI yes it does uh, support so you can just uh, pick different colors for uh, different uh, notifications and uh, let me just show you that let me just pick pink and yeah there you see uh, the pink uh, color so that's how you can control uh, the LED uh, notification and apart from that apart from what you see here let me just quickly show you uh, some other stuff pressing and holding uh, the button takes you to a menu wherein you can change your uh, desktop look so you have you are provided with a couple of uh, widgets and they vary from the clocks to a photo frame and a lot of other stuff and uh, yeah probably it would be better if you can take a install it and uh, take a look on your own and if you want to see if you want to add up uh, new home screens to your uh, uh, home uh, to your desktop so you can just uh, click on this uh, uh, plus button and you would have a new home screen and uh, if you want to see a preview of all the home screen so this is how you do click on the menu and click on uh, preview it will take you to that uh, helicopter view which gives you an overview of all the uh, other options so there are a lot of customizations with respect to UI all the apps all the default apps have been modded and you would not recognize that they are the actual default application so let me just take you through one by one first going through the dialer pad uh, you would see a totally different uh, look and feel and this is how uh, you also have a uh, smart dialer option here and uh, you can quickly go to contacts as well and the contact app is again uh, modded so you have a couple of different options with respect to uh, contacts also so it's a it's a totally new experience with respect to using these applications and I would say they have done a beautiful job with respect to uh, the music uh, player and let me just show you that so I'm just playing some songs and uh, you see uh, Okay, that's a player and here you are provided with a couple of menu and you can also see uh, the lyrics being played. So just tap on the album art and you should see the lyrics scrolling down. And uh, another beautiful feature uh, with respect to the music player and the MIUI is that when you go to the lock, when you lock your screen, let me just reduce the volume, when you lock the screen, so this is how uh, your lock screen appears to you and uh, you are provided with quick uh, navigation with respect to the songs you can go to the previous song previous track and you can go to the next track and also you can pause and uh, play your track and in case you want to unlock it press and hold the middle button and the uh, unlock screen changes with respect to this and also you can see the visualizations here let me just quickly unlock it and uh, show you a couple of other features with respect to uh, the media player. You also have a, a equalizer, so let me just show that you have you have an equalizer setting, so you can have you can do a couple of uh, presets and also you can do a custom settings. And this is uh, your volume control, and that's about uh, the music player. The, they have done a quite a beautiful job with respect to the music player, and the music player is an absolute uh, eye candy, I should say, and. Uh, uh, with respect to other apps, uh, you would see the same uh, uh, customizations throughout the applications. But uh, one thing I would like to bring to your notice is uh, they are by default when you install uh, the MI or UI ROM, you're provided with a security center folder which contains a couple of uh, apps which uh, which provide you some. Uh, which provide you options for your security with respect to the apps and all that so you you have a virus scan and you have a network uh, uh, assistant which would uh, tell you about how much of data has been used and all that and which application has been using more data and a uh, couple of other stuff and also you have uh, anti-spam which would uh, uh, take a look at your apps and see if uh, any of them are spam and also you have a permission uh, uh, what do you call this okay permissions app what this app does is that as and when you launch a new application it would uh, it would screen out uh, uh, 
the different permissions that are required by uh, the phone by, by that app and it would ask you if uh, if you need to provide uh, access to that app or not so you can uh, do uh, you can decline uh, uh, the permission so that uh, the app doesn't uh, uh, get access to your uh, personal uh, applications and also another feature is that MIUI ROM provides you uh, with a MIUI uh, account so when you go to your accounts and sync you would see uh, something like this so when you try to add a new account you are provided with Xiaomi account so you can create a Xiaomi account and you can keep your ROM updated all the time and also it provides you some features to back up your contacts and SMSs and all that stuff and also you are provided with uh, uh, a storage option so there, there I, I guess there is a, a cloud storage for your uh, account so in case uh, you can just register and uh, use this access and store your files on the MI drive I'm not really sure about the capacity that you can hold there but you can definitely store some files there and also you're provided with the file manager by default which is not available uh, uh, with a Sony Ericsson default or uh, ice cream sandwich ROM and that's a good thing and also the gallery is uh, charm uh, as I told you a customization has been done to a uh, to quite an extent that uh, you would not uh, feel that this is actually uh, Android uh, uh, device so uh, that's how it's been and uh, another absolute beautiful feature that I liked in this phone is uh, the option to change your theme so there are like tons and tons of themes online so uh, you can uh, definitely download them and they're all free of cost and you do not pay a penny and uh, uh, once you have them all downloaded you can uh, set set uh, different themes uh, and you can use them so that's an absolute uh, brilliant feature uh, with this ROM and also you can do your own customization in case you want to mix up some uh, lock screens with the different uh, icons and uh, different uh, notification settings you can still do that because there's a lot of combination that you can uh, do here you can pick uh, different options for uh, different uh, uh, applications or different areas of uh, the UI of your phone so that is about this phone and uh, the default the kernel that's running on this MIUI uh, is uh, let me just show you about that uh, let me just go to the settings and about phone and uh, show you more details about the MIUI ROM and there you see uh, there's an Android 4.4 based MIUI ROM and the CPU is 1 GHz RAM is 512 MB and uh, this is about uh, storage and all that and uh, when you look at it the kernel version that I'm actually running on my phone is a night elf and uh, this ROM, this kernel does support uh, overclocking and uh, uh, yes it, it supports overclocking so in case you want to overclock your phone you can still do that by just uh, uh, installing an uh, app which is called uh, no frill CPU or set CPU so you can uh, increase the speed of your phone so I can take it to up to 1.6 gigahertz so my phone can run at 1.6 gigahertz uh, frequency so I have not done it right now I just wanted to have some life with my phone so later on uh, probably when I get bored and uh, uh, when the phone gets sluggish probably I would uh, do that and also another absolute beautiful feature is that when you press and hold the home screen you would be provided with uh, this app this does the same thing as your app cleaning so in case you have any running apps you can all uh, clear them and with the press of this button it clears up all the applications and provides you with uh, enough RAM so that, that's how you see uh, uh, that feature provides a, be a beautiful option to uh, clear up RAM so that uh, you are uh, before you start up gaming or any other uh, multitasking uh, your phone has enough memory for all the job so that's about uh, this ROM in case you guys want to try out uh, this ROM on your uh, Neo V phones and uh, uh, yes if, before doing that if you want to know something uh, please uh, drop in your drop in below in the comment section so as and when I find time and uh, if I know the answers to them I would definitely answer them and uh, keep you updated about the option and another feature that I uh, is worth mentioning is that you can keep your phone updated with the latest ROM so you have an option which says updater so when you click on that it will take you to this uh, screen and uh, when you click on this button with your phone connected to uh, Wi-Fi your phone can uh, detect the latest version of the MIUI ROM and it can download them onto your phone so that's an absolute, absolute beautiful feature that's like an OTA for uh, your phones which doesn't have the uh, uh, factory or the stock uh, ice cream sandwich.
so that's about it there apart from the options that i've already mentioned there are a lot of other options uh, which makes this rom worth a try and i would tell you i am i am totally loving this rom with all the beautiful features and beautiful customization this uh, rom has to offer so probably i'll be sticking to this rom for a long time that is for sure and in case you guys want more information do let me know and i would uh, happily post the links below or uh, probably if i can find some time i can uh, also post in a step by step guide uh, in uh, doing what i've done to my phone and with respect to the performance i have not seen any uh, freezing or uh, sluggish uh, uh, operations on this phone so it's been uh, beautiful uh, Uh, beautiful experience i would say and the performance has been uh, great and uh, even with the browser there's been a lot of customization so uh, this is a beautiful rom and thumbs up for miui for uh, bringing in such a beautiful uh, piece of art and uh, guys if you like this video do click on the like buttons and do subscribe and stay in touch uh and uh, do let me know in case you want uh, any other uh, videos or uh, you would like to know anything about it so thanks guys thanks for watching